Hey, welcome on board everyone. <laughs> what an amazing Friday evening, right? The weather is completely shit outside, right? It's, it's awful. It's fucking hell. It's wind, rain, fog, everything what, what I hate, right? Everything what I hate. But inside, I got a few very, very, very cool things. I got this cat here. <laughs> I got this talisker, 10 years old talisker. I got, uh, fucking hell, he doesn't, he, he doesn't like this game. H how can you not like this, right? You eat mouse, you eat rat, but you don't drink this beautiful drink, right? What's wrong with you? So guys, be prepared. This is going to be a long video. I won't cut it or anything. I won't hide anything. So this is going to be a proper, genuine unboxing video. And what I'm unboxing, that's the most important thing, is probably the most prestigious, right? The most expensive guitar what I've ever had here at Rollis Guitars. So this is a 2019 Gibson Custom Shop, 60th anniversary, diamond anniversary, Les Paul 59. Did you hear that? 59 Les Paul. This is a 59 Les Paul in the box. <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting for this guitar for long. So I, I, I saw that video, so I, so I saw many videos from the NAMM show 2009, the winter NAMM this year. Uh, where the, Gibson, the new Gibson management were talking about how cool these new guitars are and then they stepped up the game and they they even improved everything on the 59 Les Pauls. Now, I, th I thought that's, that's serious because I had many 59 R9 Les Pauls here and I was always very happy with them. I'm ser seriously. I, it's not a joke, but I never had any bad one. So these are custom shop guitars, the top of the range Gibson Les Paul guitars. And I had about, I don't know, in the last few years, definitely I had more than 10 of them. Beautiful, beautiful tops, great pickups, obviously all, all the great features. And uh, <clears throat> the latest ones, the 2017, 18 models, I've got a few of those as well, <clears throat> had some serious improve, improvements. So they had the, the new pickups, they had the new finish, the more accurate, the more most important, the more accurate, they call it through historic plastics and everything. So, ah, hang on a sec, if they say the 2019 Diamond Anniversary, 60th Anniversary Les Paul uh, is even better than the previous one, I thought, mamma mia, I gotta try them, what, what, what can they improve? And also I thought, ah, oh, Maybe it's just marketing bullshit again, and they say this every year, but, well, uh, so, and then, then I realized, or then I noticed that what they say was the price will be around $6,000 or five and a half thousand pounds, and I thought, mamma mia, that's a lot of money. If they ask five and a half grand for a guitar, that must be really good, otherwise they won't be able to sell it, because in that price range, you know, it's it's not a joke anymore. I mean, f for more than 5k for a guitar, that must be must be really good to be able to sell that for that much money. So I so realized, oh, five five and a half grand. That's a, that's a lot of money for a guitar. But uh, <clears throat> the first then then the first 2019 model, what I bought uh, was this one here, which is a. Uh, ES355, these are my favorite guitars, so absolutely, I'm, I'm a big fan of Gibson guitars, big fan of PRS and Fender, but, but the ES series, the ES335 guitars are my favorite ones, and when I saw this on the same video, they were talking about this ES355 and the improvements that they made on the previous generation 335s, I thought, oh, let's, let's buy this one first, and if this is this is that good, as they said, then <coughs> I'm going to buy an R9 or like the, the, this new 60th anniversary Les Paul 59. So I bought this guitar 
I don't know, half year ago or maybe a bit more. And since then, I play on it every fucking day. This is bloody amazing. Uh, I recorded a, like a long term review video with this uh, guitar. Check this out. Uh, well, I'm going to use some YouTube features. You can you can click on it. So I, I recorded a video with this one because I didn't find any issues at all. I mean, I'm always very anal with the guitars. You know, I, I go through all the details. I, I just want to know everything. I examine, I, I, I check every little part on it and <clears throat> I, I didn't find any issues at all. This is a perfectly made instrument by Gibson Memphis 2019. All the improvements what they were talking about in the, on the NAMM show, they, all those improvements really worked. I mean, I, I could say, see the points, not just some kind of stupid uh, marketing bullshit so all those improvements were and I love this guitar a lot I love it to bits and I don't want to sell it I want to keep it I play on it every day you know so yeah this is how this is how my journey started with the 2019 new series they say this is a new era new management new R&D engineering everything so this, the 2019 era started for me with this guitar and I was I'm, I'm ultra happy with it. So I thought, okay, let's look around on the market. And uh, I had a great year. Let's celebrate it with a 59 Les Paul, the 60th anniversary. And uh, yeah, let's see what I can do. And uh, I was 100% sure. I checked the colors, I checked all the details and everything. And I wanted this new color, they call it uh, Royal Tea Burst. I was looking on the internet, looking the different specs and uh, different flame tops. Obviously, I, I wanted a Royal T Burst 59 60s anniversary <coughs> Les Paul. Uh, so here you go. Finally, at the end of the year for Christmas, Roy got it. <laughs> exactly the same specs. The same, I, I I could find a very nice top that I liked, and. Um, I could find the right color and it's arrived. Here you go. In the Martin Guitars box. So this is a genuine video, right? I don't know. I haven't seen this guitar only on pictures, obviously, when I ordered it. So yeah, I won't hide, hide any of my feelings or anything. If I find anything bad, I'm going to show you. You can see it on my face. I'm a sh shitty actor. I can't hide my feelings. So let's open it, right? Let's let's open it and see how does it work. Right, so this was inside in the, in the box. Are you ready guys? Here you go, come on! Are you ready? I am fucking ready. <laughs> Can't wait. This must be good, this must be good. 2019 custom shop. 59 diamond anniversary last for. Are you still with me? One step closer. One step cl Ah, and they, they redesigned this new, this is a new hard thing as well for this year. On one of the videos, they were talking about they redesigned this custom shop hardware, so it's 
closer to the original. So. step closer and the last step guys I'm going to open this beauty now how can I do that you can see what I can see as well <sighs> are you ready are you here have you got your whiskey <laughs> Mama. <laughs> and she is arrived. First impression, right? I'm not joking, but this is light. Ooh. I'm not joking, but this is light. I've got another to, uh, historic glass ball here oh and interesting neck as well so yeah so they were talking about choosing the right wood i mean choose they try to choose the right uh, very light right back and this is very light obviously one piece cool smells great yeah and how do you like this new color called the Royal Tea Burst? So I picked this one, I selected this one from quite a lot of guitars because I wanted, I really like these thin flames and for me more important that this is pro, this was the uh, best book match top that I could see on the market. This is quite precise, I mean so it's, it's 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 a very nice book match top. So for me, I, I like this lot, this uh, thin tiger stripes instead of the instead of the thick ones. Usually the thick one thick ones are much harder to book match, and this is this is just fucking perfect. Ooh, for my first impression, is this is. Uh, this is a beauty. This is a beauty. First, so the first impression was the weight. It's 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 very very light. I mean, it's really light. Let's plug it in. I don't know how long was the journey. Let's see how much it, st it, it shouldn't be in tune. There's, it, it, there's no chance to be in tune, but let's try it. <laughs> Obviously not. Let's tune it up. So, this 2019 series got uh, got new pickups new neck shape they they what they said is it's, it's interesting they analyzed more than 100 original 59s and then um, the conclusion was they had to thin down the the neck shape just a tiny bit and uh, yeah I, I could feel that already Yes, yeah, interesting, interesting knife no, actually. No, let's let's play something on it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, first or second impression, neck shape. Definitely a bit thinner than the previous, the 2018-2017 generation. A bit thinner. The guitar is lighter. Uh, pickups. Uh, they made them unpotted or something. So, so these are the custom buckers and. Uh, so these are the same pickups what they use in the True Historic series, which is, which was bloody amazing guitars. So. Playability setup is perfect. Uh, I think that is done to the dealer. Maybe they they set it up and they sold it. Uh, but the but the setup is just perfect. sensitive pickups are like <laughs> so did you see that it's a 1959 2 a very very nice plate and it has a little diamond <laughs> how cool that is check this out can you see that it has a little diamond on the back plate for the so you can see the so the beautiful Beautiful, almost perfect. I mean, serious. I think this is this is a perfect top. This is a perfect top. Let's find the let's find the, the pickup selector, the top of the pickup selector. That oh, it came with this book. Sixties anniversary last fall. This is this is what I was after. after. So in the in I think 2015 they released the, the True Historic series, 
when they analyzed all these plastics on the original 59s and then then they reproduced all these in I mean they cloned it as they call it so guitar can't be closer to an original 59 that costs about about a uh, half million dollars now I just uh, read the news somewhere that the, the, these guitars is just ultra expensive now so I mean seriously if you want if you want to buy an original 59 that costs about two three hundred thousand pounds or almost half million dollars and uh, Gibson said these are almost the clone clone of those because it's it's impossible to have a guitar that is closer to a 59 less ball than this oh. <laughs> Third impression, it stayed in tune. <laughs> okay, it wasn't it, it wasn't too much playing. So let's try a bit of bending. Let's some, try some serious bendings. Yes, 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 yes. Much lighter, thinner neck. Uh, pickups are interesting.
gift. Sounds great, plays great, and looks beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, yeah, let's talk about the fretboard. Here you go. In 2019, Gibson offers these guitars with two different rosewood. One is Indian rosewood, one is Bolivian rosewood. I made my research on it. I checked some out in the local music shop. I couldn't notice the difference at all. This is a beautiful, very dark, very dark. It looks like rosewood. I mean, check this out. It's a beautiful, beautiful rosewood. Uh, so the 355 has Indian rosewood, and this one has Bolivian rosewood, and I can't see the, can't see the difference. It's maybe, no, no, it's not, it's not true. This is dark here, but it gets browner here. This is browner here, it gets darker there, so, who the fuck cares, I think. Nobody can tell the difference in sound. So this is Bolivian rosewood and I'm very happy with it. Looks like, looks, feels. Feels genuine. More importantly, the guitar is very light. More importantly, it stays in tune beautifully. I like it, I like it, it stays in tune, plays great and I like the color very much. I think it, it's, it's going to make me play on it a lot. Beautiful, beautiful Les Paul. Guys, let's, let's check the little nuances, right? Let's be a fucking dickhead and go through all these little binding and everything if there's any any issues or any unfinished parts or problem with the finish or beautifully done beautifully done let's see the finish on the top beautifully done fretboard fretboard binding great great fretboard edges yeah, obviously perfectly done, the frets. Yeah, I can't feel any issues. Let's see the neck. Let's see the headstock finally. Any finish problems or anything I can spot. I think they've, as, as, far, as, as far as I remember, they were talking about something they they tweak the logo a bit and they tweak this Les Paul writing a bit. Uh, no, no, I can't, I can't see any any problems at all. It's just a beautifully done Les Paul. So, first impressions, uh, first conclusion. Uh, yeah. Five and a half grand guitar, or f like I, I, sometimes they sell it for five two or five one thousand pounds, but very expensive guitar. But yeah, it's it's very 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 good Les Paul guys at Gibson. Congratulations, really con congratulations. It's it's not easy to impress someone. I've got many many great guitars here. A wood library pre RS 594. I got another Les Paul, a, a 57 reissue. I got a custom shop strut here. I got this 355, and I was, uh, I, I'm very impressed with it. So, congratulations, guys, at Gibson. It's really, really a step up. Uh, I can, I can see what, what did you mean?
Guys, this neck pickup sounds sounds bloody awesome. I think I can spend a week with the neck pickup only. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. Did you hear those squeals? I mean, I think it's something with these pickups because the pickups got more, how can I say, more harmonics, more... I, I think on the previous generation of these guitars I didn't hear that much interesting uh, that much interesting uh, harmonics on the on the very high note. I think they did something with the with the with the top end of the, the pickups. something on the top end I mean definitely definitely there's there's an interesting harmonic content that I haven't haven't heard on the previous generations <laughs> and then yeah I think obviously the overdrive uh, brings out brings it out more but when I when I played clean, I, I could hear it as well. It has this awe. I like these new pickups guys. Seriously, seriously I like them. I think the previous generation was great, the custom buckers were amazing, but those sounded a bit more like this comparing to these. These are more open sounding with more more trouble, more more top end, more pinched harmonics or and the neck as well. It's it's so easy to play. My finger is just flying on it and this is a brand new guitar. I mean, obviously this is going to become better and better over the years. But on a brand new guitar, it's very rare when I can play this fast and uh, this easy, this comfortable, I mean. Obviously because, because the fretwork is perfect as well, because the fretboard edges and everything is just so smooth, so silk, I mean nice, nice.
beautiful guitar and it has a little diamond there little little diamond there nice smell so i got two 2019 gibsons <laughs> so you can tell i like this I like this generation and beautifully book matched nice nice top on it so I think this was quite a long video, sorry about it guys, but I enjoyed it a lot, hope you enjoyed it as well. And uh, yeah, I'm 100% sure I'm going to shoot more and more videos with this guitar because I just love it and there's not much what you can't enjoy on it. So it's a beauty, it's a beauty. Uh, I just want to show you the... So the hard case is, this is the hard case, quite a big, heavy, heavy hard case. What did it come with? <sighs> case candy, so it, it, I've got the certificate, I, I've, I think I've showed you this. I got this back plate, this plastic back plate, if you don't want to keep the original on it. I want to keep the original on it. <laughs> don't have any issues with it. No, one hand tag, other hand tag, prepared checklist. Can I see any names on it, any signatures? Because I just want to say hello or... Well, inspected by... I don't know whoever was it. I don't know whoever build this guitar obviously it went through uh, many many stations in the factory and things like that but nine nine one two yeah whoever put this guitar together guys congratulations fantastic job hope you like my video see you i don't say please subscribe because if you enjoyed this video you are going to subscribe, I'm not person sure, but please subscribe, peace and love, peace and love, peace and love and happiness. Mm. Ah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Gibson. I love it, I love it so much. I'm going to spend the Christmas break with this last call.